We're here with Shafiq, the CEO of Financials, one of the exhibitors today at Seamless. How's it going? Yeah, it's going wonderful here. We are seeing a lot of crowd at this moment. And yeah, we are expecting uh, what to see uh, coming ahead. So day one off to a good start so far? Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful start uh, so far. And tell me, why did you decide to have a presence here at Seamless? Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's an uh, opportunity to tap uh, you know, a lot of uh, ecosystem enablers, uh, potentially customers, and also showcase your, you know, what you're building from this region. So this is, I think, great opportunity to showcase uh, you know, about your uh, company. Basically. And tell me a little bit more about financials and the vision behind the company. So Financials is a tech-enabled accounting firm. We help uh, startups, SMBs to automate their accounting and uh, help founders to improve their financial performance by giving a lot of insights and data. What kinds of companies do you work the most with? We work with uh, any sort of companies that's in the space which is more uh, tech heavy. Uh, so even uh, look at uh, crypto or Web3 companies that we work with where they have mostly like have issues in uh, having a transparent uh, financial reporting. Okay. So is that the biggest challenge that most Web3 or blockchain based companies have, do you think? I mean, uh, look at uh, companies like FTX, which is, you know, one of the reasons why it is collapsed. The transparency of reporting was still at stake. I think there was no accounting records were not maintained at all. And most of the crypto companies, we understand that, you know, the value of their investments or holdings are not captured or are not reported properly. And I think it's a huge white space now because which is uh, emerging now. And uh, I think there is a lot of uh, transparency and uh, regulation has to come in place. So that's where we see we help these companies to have more, uh, you know, transparent reporting and have more uh, analytics on, uh, you know, how what's their financial health so far, you know, because the industry is very evolving fast and very dynamic. Right, and so what do you think, um, like we don't want FTX to happen again, right? So what do you think are the, 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 the ways that companies, like why is it so difficult for companies to do accurate reporting? I mean, uh, look at the, like, uh, the tech ecosystem is not existing, like, for example, your uh, currency is somewhere in uh, you know some wallets, and there is no systems enabled at this moment to have reporting, or the accountants are technically challenged uh, to understand how to report this. So you have mostly like traditional accountants, they run on Excel sheets, they don't understand most of how crypto industry works. So the, there is a scarcity of skilled accounting professionals who can actually do accounting for these entities. That's one thing. And why, why uh, something like FTX has happened? Because, you know, I mean, uh, if, if you have to look at how you can build transparency, you tell your clients, this is the money, you know, laying with me, and this is the amount lies in your wallet. And most of the time, you know, it's all mixed in one uh, wallets or bank accounts, and they use it for uh, CapEx, the client's money, and then, you know, they take a loan out of it. So there is a lot of transparency issues, which is actually like, uh, having uh, you know a challenges to the industry while you know blockchain is one of emerging technologies and a great technology to have more transparent uh, reporting like concept like tri triple accounting is coming up there definitely one second <laughs> that was weird um, and what kinds of tools do you use or do you recommend that companies use so as to have more accurate reporting yeah, so we work with softwares like normal traditional reporting softwares, which is on a cloud. Uh, plus, we use uh, some softwares that that can capture the data from multiple uh, wallets and have real-time reporting on values. So you could see reflect those in your uh, financial reports. Is it on the blockchain itself? It's on the blockchain, yes. Okay. So you think that because things are on the blockchain, it would be more more transparent. It would there would be a clearer record. So why, why isn't that more widespread? Like, why are there still so many <laughs> challenges, I guess? I mean, like, you know, it's, it takes, change takes time, right? It's, uh, but I think uh, you know, the future holds for blockchain. 
especially when it comes to reporting of uh, listed companies out there because you know there are a lot of accounting frauds happen which could be avoided if it was accounted on blockchain like you know they could easily trace it back what went wrong so I think it's evolving um, I think mostly like you see the changes in accounting lately more we are say changing on most pressing problems like uh, currency issues and um, you know t tech developments or hosting or uh, payments cross-border transactions so I think uh, when it comes to accounting, it's not most pressing issues, but I think eventually evolve as blockchain evolves. I see, and what about here in Dubai? Do you find that the regulatory environment is, is more helpful to companies? Do you think that it's easier maybe to do these types of accounting softwares here? Yeah, I think uh, Dubai is a very welcoming uh, crypto and blockchain uh, startups and companies here, and that we have seen across. and. Uh, I think I think this will be one of the major hub in the world for crypto and uh, uh, Web3 companies. That uh, that we see the trend now, and a lot of companies are moving here. So I think it's it's a best place to be in. Definitely, I agree with you. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Shafiq. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Enjoy the rest of the conference.